I visited a sports complex this week, brought along my computer, and asked this boy and his mother if he would like to come over and help me shoot down some enemy Klingon spaceships that were attacking Earth. He said yes, and this video is the result. I think it's useful because it showcases some of my techniques that I use in a standard classroom whenever I go in and I work with children. You want as low as possible to try to destroy it in faster than 15 seconds. One. One, okay. So, six plus one. I've asked the student to think. Whenever I do that, I refrain from making eye contact. Eye contact can be intimidating and distracting. It can also be intimidating if I just sit back and wait for an answer. So instead, I do the least intimidating thing possible. I pretend to be engaged in solving the exact same puzzle that the child is engaged in. Okay, and then seven plus nine, that's uh, 16. So this is actually worse. So we, 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 we're not a good team here. It's, it's, it, this didn't work. So last time we did it in 15 seconds, and that time it took us 16. You should regularly give every student an experience of failure. You do that to remove the stigma of failure from the classroom. Here, you see that I've given the student and myself an experience of failure. We have not done as well as we did our previous turn. Okay. Three plus two. Five. Five, yeah. And three plus one. Four. Yeah. And four plus five. Hmm. Well, five plus five is, is ten. So it's got to be just. Nine. It's got to be nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a lot better. Yeah. That's, that's significant, a significant improvement. The number one problem that elementary school teachers make when introducing a new puzzle to their class is to explain all of the rules. That can be boring for a large fraction of students. Much better is to explain only some of the rules than to get the class to try to solve it. Of course they fail. And then they have a, a scapegoat that they can use. Of course they, they didn't have all of the rules, so it's kind of humorous. And then you explain some more of the rules, so you keep the class engaged uh, as you're going through, you're giving them um, a, f a classroom failure that removes the stigma of failure from, from the classroom situation, so that's a positive. I'm doing the exact same thing here with this boy. I have not told him that to destroy this Klingon bird of prey, that he has to make sure that all of the numbers are different. Okay, one plus two. Three. Three. Zero plus two. 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 Uh-oh. You tried to aim your iron cannon and you can't decide where to aim it. Are you going to aim it at this part of the spaceship or this part? So, oh no, the spaceship got through and the Earth is destroyed. Drats. Mm. So that was the rule that I didn't tell you. I love cheating like that. So that, you can't have any two numbers the same in this whole thing. Um, you did really well to get to nine seconds. So now I think it's time to... So we, we destroyed this in nine seconds. That's pretty good. It probably wiped out Calgary, but everything else in the world is good. So that's pretty good. Now we're going to take on this spaceship, if you want. You want to try it? Okay, so this one's tougher. So here we've got a whole bunch of numbers that we have to put here. And then like, these two would add up to give this number. And these two would add up to give this. And then these three numbers here add up to give this. Okay? And so we, again, we want to destroy this in the least amount of time possible. Oh. And mom can help out here too. So, so I, I don't actually, I just made this puzzle up this morning. So I don't even know how, how uh, well we can do here. Yeah. Because these puzzles are fun, it's easy to invite in other people to get engaged. Math becomes a social experience, and so many kids respond positively to that. Whenever I present this puzzle in front of teachers, they often ask me if it's a rule that you can't use zero. 
My answer is, no, 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 there's no rule that you can't use zero. Of course, if you use it, the Earth ends up getting destroyed. But it's not a rule that you can't use it. That is something for children to discover. Five. Five. Seven. Seven, okay. So, seven plus five. Oh, that's the hardest one on there. Okay, so five plus five is going to be, that's going to be 10. There's just a little bit more than that. It's going to be five plus, five plus seven is just going to be two more than that. Right? Seven. Well, is that right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay. Um, right. Zero plus four. 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 Uh-oh. Oh, no. So, you can change that. Because now we've got a duplicate. So, we, we, that doesn't work. So, do you want to change the four or do you want to change the zero? Zero. You want to change it? What would you like it to be? Eight. Eight. Okay. So, eight plus four. Well, this is kind of interesting. It's kind of like five plus seven. Um, yeah, because eight is one more than seven, and four is one less than five. So it's going to add, add, add up to be the same. Yeah. Eight. Oh, but then we don't know where to aim at twelve seconds. Oh, oh darn it! Darn it! That didn't. So six. Test this to six. Okay. So six plus four. It's actually, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Ten. Six plus four. Ten. Six plus two. Ah. Eight. Eight? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. We are, we are, we don't have right here. Mm -hmm. Ten. Um, and three plus one. Four. Four. Good. We already got four. Ah, oh, drafts. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, so we have to get rid of one. Change the one to two. No. Oh, we got two. No. Oh, no. Uh, oh, this doesn't like that. Eleven? Eleven? We can change the... We can change this to an eleven. Do you want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> so, three plus eleven. Eleven plus three. Fourteen. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Ten plus And I guess 10 plus 7 would be 17. 10 plus 6 would be 16. Yeah, okay, I get it. Okay, that, so that's 18. Oh, goodness. Uh, I'm just going to say, that that looks like, um, well, that's 10 plus 10, that'll be 20. And then 8 plus 2, that's another 10, so that's going to be 30. That's going to be 44. So we did that in 44 seconds. Yeah. So that, but this is a harder spaceship. Yeah, so this might be as good as you can get. I don't know. We leave this puzzle in an unfinished, unpleasant state. Have we got the best solution? I don't know. What an interesting place to leave students rather than nicely packaging and wrapping up every lesson. This boy needs a lot of practice in addition. What he doesn't need are boring worksheets. He needs for his home planet to be attacked by Klingon starships. Thank you.